lectures us all on climate change, this one trip alone is responsible for thousands of tons of carbon dioxide being pumped into the atmosphere. While pushing global warming bullshit in the name of helping the third world, the Pope is legitimizing policies that will kill the third world. As the leaked Copenhagen text illustrated, punitive regulations in the name of the environment are designed to cripple the third world and stop it developing its way out of poverty. Capitalism is the greatest vanquisher of poverty that the world has ever seen. Millions of Chinese Indians and countless others have lifted themselves out of poverty thanks to capitalism. Since Chile embraced capitalism, just 2% live in poverty compared to 15% under the previous communist system. Yet Pope Francis, the supposed champion of the poor, Bad mouths capitalism every single chance he gets. While doing nothing to support dissidents crushed under the heel of communism in places like Cuba. While claiming he doesn't support socialism, yet rhetorically calling for socialism, the very economic system that ensures misery and poverty for everyone. But let's make it clear, there is dissent within the Vatican. A conservative revolt is brewing. People who attend these Catholic events, at which this New Age Gaia crap is being rammed down their throats, are getting incensed. They're standing up and demanding to know what happened to their church. Demanding to know why the Pope is becoming increasingly weaker on abortion. Just one sentence, one milquetoast sentence about abortion, during his entire speech in front of Congress. In fact, the Pope spent about five times longer talking about 35 executed murderers than he did the one million unborn children killed in the United States every year. He also remained completely silent on the right of Christians not to have their businesses ruined over legislatively imposed tolerance. I really liked the Pope when he was first elected. But wearing a pointy hat and claiming that you represent God doesn't automatically make you the supreme authority on absolutely everything, as the media would have us believe. And I know that he's performed numerous acts of kindness, but he's now nothing more than a political tool being used by the elite to undermine both Christianity and the foundation of Western freedom. So sorry I can't jump on your bandwagon of compelled idol worship. Sorry I can't suspend all my core beliefs and principles to bow down and genuflect in fawning admiration of someone who is deceiving over a billion people. And sorry, no offence, but fuck the Pope. Seriously, fuck the Pope. It was amazing.